Hello, I'm Frank Buckles, North Langley Community Director for the Greater Langley Chamber of Commerce. As always, the Chamber is offering information to businesses and citizens about elections. The federal election has been called and we're doing a series of videos with candidates in the two Langley ridings. With me is Teiko Van Popta. Teiko is running for the Conservative Party in the Langley Alder Grove riding. Well, Good, thank you, Frank. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running for the Conservative Party in this election. Good, yeah, um, I'm a proud Canadian and I want to do my part to uh, move Canada forward. I grew up around here uh, and I think that I have the skills and the ability to be an effective member of Parliament for Langley Alder Grove. I am very pro-business. As a lawyer, I work with uh, small and medium-sized family enterprises who feel that they're not being treated fairly by the federal government. They call it tax cheats and they just want to run their business and uh, hire people and pay their fair share of the taxes. Uh, I'm also concerned about national unity. Uh, we have currently five provincial governments suing the federal government over the carbon tax. Uh, we are importing oil from countries with questionable human rights and environmental records, and we're having trouble getting our own product to market. So a sheer led uh, conservative government would work us towards uh, energy self-sufficiency. And I want to uh, work towards uh, fiscal responsibility. The current federal government spending is out of control. Time to get the conservatives back in. Okay. Uh, small business. Uh, you mentioned small business. You've worked with small business. The uh, current federal government brought in some significant changes to small business taxation, some of which were rolled back upon protest from chambers and other organizations, including this chamber. Thank you for doing that. And um, do you think that that's sufficient? Do any other changes need to be made to make taxation fairer for small businesses? The changes that Bill Morneau uh, uh, brought in were draconian. They're bad for business, uh, but they did listen right, to chambers such as the Langley Chamber of Commerce. So that's a good thing, but we're concerned that uh, if a federal, if a liberal government is re-elected, uh, that they will bring some of those changes back in again. Okay, so need to keep our ears and eyes open, I said, I guess is what you're saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's okay. Right. Um, uh, temporary foreign workers and other immigration programs to help uh, employers get the employees they need. We have low unemployment. Uh, British Columbia is, is in pretty good condition in that respect. And yet we're hearing from our members in the chamber network that sometimes it's really difficult to get temporary foreign workers to fill those gaps. It's a very important program. I have clients who rely on it, uh, and we need to, to improve it. So it's something that a conservative government would definitely work on. We would uh, enhance that program to make sure that our economy keeps on growing. Okay, well, a big issue for, I think, most people in the region is housing. Especially younger people are finding it very difficult to afford to buy a home. Rents have gone up quite high. The federal government has announced the national housing strategy also they've announced a program to help young people buy homes, but the limit on that is $550,000, which unfortunately doesn't get you very much here. Does, does that program need to be changed? Is that useful, or is it just something that sounds good but really doesn't apply to people in the world? Yeah, I don't think that it's as helpful as they like to think that it is. Uh, I'm a conservative, so I look to free market uh, solutions. Um, if there's a supply problem and we should increase the supply of housing. Uh, I think that that would be a good way you know, for supply and demand to curbs to meet. Uh, the federal government has introduced a stress test, uh, which I don't think is helpful at all. It just makes housing even more unaffordable for young families. Yeah. So when I'm out knocking on doors, which I've done a lot in the last couple of months, I'm hearing that a lot. Just unaffordable to live here. Yeah. Talking to people who are more established, but you know, they say we're okay, but uh, our children are having a hard time getting started. So yeah, it's definitely something that would have my attention. Okay. And then another persistent issue for not only businesses, but I think all of us who live in Langley and Surrey and Fraser Valley is transportation. Uh, Highway 1 is jammed up through Langley on a daily basis. It is to be three-laned as far east as 264th. We also have this major SkyTrain project, which is going to start. Uh, it's supposed to come right to Langley City, but at this point in time, there's only enough funding to probably take it to Fleetwood. 
What is a conservative government, government going to do about those things? Uh, a platform hasn't been rolled out yet on uh, yeah. infrastructure spending, but I can tell you personally, as a user of SkyTrain, uh, I'm a, a real proponent of it. I would like very much uh, to s see it come all the way into Langley. Uh, but you're right, funding right now is only gets it to Fleetwood. So as a member of Parliament for Langley, all the road, I would definitely advocate, advocate for getting funding, federal funding in place to bring SkyTrain into Langley. Okay. Well, what about Highway 1? What what more needs to be done there? Well, the uh, 216th interchange uh, is going to be uh, completed in, mm -hmm. I think, next year sometime. So that will be a big improvement. Uh, three lane and all the way to uh, 264 Street, obviously, is, uh, is a really good development. Uh, it's probably going to have to be more than that. I was trying to exit the freeway uh, eastbound, southbound, uh, 264, and it's a real bottleneck there. So yep. I would love to see the 264th <laughs> Interchange be redesigned and improved. I don't know if that's on the plans though. One final quick question. Are you in favor of putting the Trans Mountain pipeline? Yes, 100%. Thank you very much, Tegel. Good, thanks a lot. Yeah.